Is it pretty to tener niños, man? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another virtual episode of the What Did He Said podcast. Hey. Um, it is very difficult trying to podcast from home. Either you wrestling wrestling with the Wi-Fi, you wrestling with the kids, or you wrestling with the wife. But today, all the way from yeah. Dallas, Texas, uh, one of my best, 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 best friends, one of my homies in the comedy world, representing Oak Cliff, D-Town, Texas. Give it up for Jesus. On, Jesus, Midnight, Castillo. What up, I ain't game. Megan, this is just, I don't know what this is. You know what I'm saying? How was, what's going on, baby, baby? Baby, baby. Uh, man, man, you, you've been busy. Quarantining. Man, you've been busy. You've been on the grind. And, uh, it's good to finally catch up with you and check in. Um, you know so, what I'm how, how, how's everything going in, uh, Dallas, man? Yeah, man, everything's on lockdown over here, man. Uh, they're trying to open some things up, man, but, like, uh, like I said, we're trying to extend it a little bit further because uh, a lot of people, you know, infected out here. You know what I'm saying? A little zombie land out here. Oh, like Dallas you know? has a lot of cases, right? Yeah, they. I think out of all the counties, like we're the one that had the most cases and most deaths. So they're trying to keep it locked. You know what I'm saying? Even though, uh, even though the the what was it? Uh, the governor, uh-huh. Greg Abbott. Yeah. Want to open it up? I think we extended it uh, uh, until May 15th. Oh, so Dallas said, hey, we don't care what the governor does. We're not open until May 15th. Well, we didn't say we don't care what the governor does. It's just like, you know what? We have all these deaths out here. We don't want to keep having deaths. So let's 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 try to uh, have a little bit more time so we could uh, prevent at least these deaths so they could have beds and uh, what was that? Respirators? Or, yeah, ventilators. And, and we have ventilators, man. Because they're running out. You know what I'm saying? Actually, we're pretty good right now, but we don't want it to keep on infecting people because if we open up, it's going to be a sure bet that a lot of people are going to get more infected, you know? So, yeah. We're, we're yeah. just trying to extend it. Yeah, I don't, I, I'm not too familiar with uh, the phases of opening up or like their plan to open up so that they could keep a balance between like keeping the economy going. And also not trying mm-hmm. to kill off a, a, a extra amount of people. So, está cabrón, yeah. está cabrón. <laughs> yeah, man. Like, they just started implementing, like, that, oh, everybody got to wear masks. No matter what. You got to wear, like, if you're going to go to the bank, if you're going to go to the grocery store, if you're going to go to any of those businesses that are open right now, or even, like, takeout, you got to have your masks. And they're, they're implementing that, that, that it, only 10 people at a time. You know what I'm saying? In in any business. Yeah, I went to Home Depot, boy, just to go get a hose. There was like about fifty people in line. And I was I was uh I never I was like I like when I get in line, I'm not very patient. <laughs> but now I was patient. I was like, you know, they, they looking out for us. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I I went and got they, Go ahead. Uh and I just wanted to go get a hose. You know what I'm saying? The thing is, like, there's some people that really want to get close, but sometimes you got to you gotta put the buggy in between you and the other person. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Six feet. Like, the six feet, ten feet rule. I don't care. I don't know what it is, but mine's ten feet. Yeah, you got to weaponize. That's my rule. You got to weaponize the buggy. So, um... So for those of y'all that, that may not be familiar with uh with Midnight, um, Midnight is a hustler. He's a hilarious comedian. Uh, he, Midnight had just kicked off his room again in in uh, Oak Cliff at uh, what's the name of the place? Uh, it's Sunset uh, Crab Shack, but we call it uh, Crab Shack Comedy. Yeah, so uh, it, it's super nice in there, man. That's actually like when I was first first starting a stand up. Uh, Midnight put together uh, some shows and he had me on the lineup and uh, it was packed. It was so many sold out shows and um, that was your room back in the day. And now you're back yeah. at that spot. They remodeled and I went back to uh-huh. I went back to get on stage, work out some new stuff uh, right before the going viral tour kicked off. Yeah. But, you know, the Rona uh, canceled all that. So we're, we're really looking forward to we're really looking forward to getting back on the road. Um, the last spot we worked with you was um, Kansas City, right? 
Yeah, Kansas City was the last one. Oh, Rome. Naples, Naples. Oh, yeah, it was Naples. It was Naples. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the last spot. Yeah. Yeah, off the hood comedy club, man. And, and, rip, and it was, right. it was rip, we were ripping up there. Yeah. You know rip, what I'm saying? Rip, remember, uh, we were still able to kind of joke about the corona because it was just starting to, it wasn't all the way real yet. You remember that? Yeah. Yeah, we were like ripping on it a little bit. And then all of a sudden, it's like, it kind of like got real. Like cool. five days later. Five days later, we were like, oh, shit. Like, there's people, like, suspending, like, uh, shows, canceling shows. And we were like, well, they're canceling shows. Shit, I think we're going to need to cancel some shows. And that, three days in, it happened. Yeah. yeah. So, so what 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 uh what projects you've been working on, man? How you been keeping busy, and you know what what can we expect? What are you cooking up? Well, well, I'm busy. I'm busy right now because like I I work a nine to five. I work at the bank. I'm a bank teller. So like uh, essential. I've been doing that, huh? Essential. I'm. A, hey, you know what? Like they say, like on the essential thing, uh, it's it put bankers on there and everything. But, like, uh, I don't see no people out there going outside of their house and clapping for bankers. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they, they did it all for the staff, for the staff. But, like, y'all be coming up there and making withdrawals and deposits and stuff. Where's my clap? Yeah, where, where's, my where's my balloon? My little, where's my little uh, poster board that says, thank you, essential banker? Yeah. Nowhere. But, yeah, yeah. Where's my Starbucks uh, free gift card and balloon packs and flowers and orchids? Where, where's my free coffee at Quick Trip? I don't see it. Right? Damn. Oh man. So are you, are you about what to you are you about to kick the uh, clothing line back off or do you have the online store back up? Let us know what's cracking. Man, I have the online store already back up. Uh you y'all can go up there and, and go ahead and start uh uh buying uh t shirts and stuff there. Go get your gear right now. All the taco stuff is up. Uh the new stuff uh will be hitting up pretty soon, by two weeks. So all the new stuff is gonna. I'm telling you, I'm, these these two three days off because I haven't had a day off uh, for a while. Like you know, what I'm saying I do have my little one day off, but I, it's, it's a lot of stuff I gotta do here. Also, I'm kicking off the podcast. The podcast is already kicked off. Uh, we had Ralph Barbosa that I did about two two weeks ago, and now I'm starting to back up again. Uh, got my another guest, uh, probably like a little virtual one too. So. Uh, I'm gonna do start doing that too. So uh, it's a lot of things. Uh, it's a lot of projects in the work already. You know what I'm saying? Comedy already writing. Whole new hour. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So like I'm doing that. Uh, also, man, I'm reading a lot of books, bro. What well, What are you reading right now? Uh, I'm reading the uh, uh, XXL magazine. <laughs> <laughs> the source. You know what I'm saying? A little, a little bit of you know what I'm saying. Uh, a little, what's that? Uh, Living home and uh, diabetes recipes. Damn. You know what I'm saying? No shit. Come on now. Flea market. You know what I'm saying? Some Joanna Gaines out there. Home living and uh, uh, repairing and stuff. All that. Hey, how, how are your plants doing? Um, I got to meet your plants, your house plants, uh, when I was out there. Oh, yeah, a few man. Months ago. We, we got a new one up here. It's a succulent. It's a let me Let me show you, man, because you know what I'm saying? It just don't do no justice out here if I'm just just talking about it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? See, look, I got this is my little money tree right here. You know what I'm saying? You take that one to the strip club, which you... yeah, yeah, I'm gonna put a little. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this one's gonna be the hustler because I put a little weed weed seeds on there <laughs> on the on the dirt. I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to see if they grow, but you know. Uh, but this the new one right here called this Socorro. <laughs> Socorro the succulent. Socorro the succulent. You know what I'm saying? I call this one Judas because <laughs> it's a snake plant. Ah. Uh. Judas the snake plant. You know what I'm saying? And I got my, you know what I'm saying? I got my little, uh, I don't know what these are, but they look good. Every Mexican house has one of these. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. I don't know. I think it's just uh, for the good vibes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, um, so like, I, I'm actually looking into uh, 
like some gardening stuff, believe it or not, because th- this time, yeah. this time makes you realize like, yo, you should really have aloe vera and maybe like edible stuff, even like some little herbs or a cilantro, chiles, you know, like at least some chiles. And um, I just, I just want to, yeah, I just, I just want to make the best use of my time. Like I want to make sure that we have a real nice schedule that I'm able to maintain even after the Rona. Cause my, my fear is that I'm going to get o- overly busy again once they open everything up and I'm going to forget some of these good habits of like, Hey man, yes. you got to like, you know, just slow down, keep a tight circle. You ain't got to go everywhere and be everywhere. You just, you know, uh-huh. stay home and figure out all the shit you got you- at home to sort out. Yeah, get your little time for yourself, man. You always got to get your little time for yourself, man. And you got to be in a little tranquil place. Like my my living room is where all my plants are because that's where I, you know, that's where I live the most. That's what they call the living room. With with you know that saying, with that uh, yeah, cow, cowboys what, cowboys blue couch. Come on now, royal blue, because you know what I'm saying I'm the king out here. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying. So you in the presence of royalty, so you got to have a royal blue couch. You know what I'm saying. And uh, the reason why I had it because that's where that's that you want you want it to be home. Yeah. In that space, you know what I'm saying. And plants. If you have some plants around, the vibe is good. You know what I'm saying. Have you? If you have, don't have good plants around. Yeah. Come yeah, on now. For the vibe. Hey, uh, you and your girl, have y'all tried any new uh, recipes or what y'all been cooking over there? Bro, I made some sushi. What? I made sushi for the first time. Damn, how'd you do that? Man, it's easy. It's actually easy, bro. It's just, it's just, cause I had got an Instapot. I did, uh, I did some white rice and then, uh, I did the rice vinegar with the, uh, with a little bit of sugar and, and, and table salt, Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you put that, you put that in the rice and it makes sushi rice, you know what I'm saying? And then the rest, you got to just get seaweed and, and whatever you want to put inside the sushi. And how, how'd you, how'd you roll it? I, I bought one of them little bamboo things. Ah, uh, where at? Yeah, uh, at a, at the Asian store. I went up there, man. I was scared because you know what I'm saying that's where you know Corona from. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I ain't trying to be, I ain't trying to offend nobody. You know, but you know what I'm saying. I yeah. try to be a little careful. I had extra gloves. I went, uh, you know, vast max suit or whatever that was. Hey, you know what I'm so so just one day de repente se te ocurrió like yo I just feel like making sushi. What made you want to make sushi? Had you always wanted to make it? Look, bro, I've, I've always liked martial arts and I've always liked uh, for real though. Like I, as I was a kid, bro, I wanted to, I wanted to be a power ranger. You know what I'm saying? So I've always liked martial arts. I like like Bruce Lee, all that, and the Japanese culture always like was. I, I was always fascinated. And uh, especially like when I started like uh, talking about like uh, like green tea and, and sushi and everything. When I tried sushi for the first time, that was it. That was a wrap. That's all. That's all I wanted. When sushi. when did uh when did you first have sushi? Uh, when I was uh twenty three. Mm. I was twenty three years old, and uh, what was I doing? Uh, somebody. No, I, I took my girl. I wanted to try it. I, I always wanted to try it because I watched it on anime, like little anime cartoons, and they they were eating it so good. So I wanted to try it, <laughs> and I went up there and, boy, that's it. What? Fell in love. So, so the sushi you made at home, what kind of fish did you put in there? I put imitation crab meat. Mmm. Yeah. Like you put invitation crab meat, you mix it up with a little bit of Philadelphia cheese, mm. some Worcestershire sauce, mm. Worcestershire sauce, some uh, uh, a little bit of soy, soy sauce, and you mix it up a little bit. Boom, you got your little California filling, California roll filling. So it's been it's been popping, baby. We've been uh, we've been eating international all week. Sushi up. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, so I, I I had some sushi. Uh, last time I was at your house, you were showing me the, the rice maker, and um, maybe send me a picture of it because, um, like, we just got a fryer, and in the fryer yeah, yeah. we want to make some plantains, like maduros, in it. Um, mm-hmm. My daughter made some uh, tortilla chips, and then we made chilaquiles with it. 
Uh, what else? Yeah. Uh, my wife is going to probably fry some empanadas tonight. Um, and you should do some buñuelos. Yeah, we should. Make you know it. how you do that? Yeah, yeah. I know how to make buñuelos, but the fryer we have is kind of like narrow. It's like little. So maybe we might have to cut, Bro, cut them in half. This is what you do. This is what you do the easy way. Get you a whole bunch of flour tortillas, cut them in like triangles, mm. and fry them. Bunuelo when you chip. get them out the fryer, put them in cinnamon sugar. It's the Bunuelos. Yeah, like Bunuelo Come chips. On, yeah, Bunuelo chips. You can even cut, cut them in long strips. You know what I'm saying? Bunuelo chips, Bunuelo uh, strips. You know what I'm saying? Come on. Bunuelo now. tenders. Come on now. Hey, uh. Um, hey. So, uh, have you been watching anything uh, interesting on uh, Netflix? What you been consuming? I think the last thing I seen on Netflix was Outbreak. Oh, uh, the movie that came out like uh, years ago? Yeah, the one with uh, Morgan, Freeman? Morgan Freeman. Yeah, uh, and they talk about the same thing that's going on right now. Yeah, because the... The terminology that comes along with pandemics, epidemics, endemics, viruses, um, that, that same terminology like quarantine, vaccine, uh, infected, they've been knowing about that type of shit, so they put it in some movies. So now when you watch some of these shows, like, have you seen Containment? I haven't seen Containment yet. Well, that one too will freak you out because obviously they made it before Corona, but, but it's out on Netflix. Yeah. And you start to see, like, you know, green zones, red zones, and quarantine, and, you know, uh, infected people, and vaccine, and shots, and epidemic, and, you know, and it's, it's you know, because yeah. we're living it. We're living it in real life. And uh, so it's definitely... Hey, do you, like, like how, who, who gives these guys this script? Or, like, do they do the research for that? Yeah. Because I just think, like, to, to me, it kind of, that, that outbreak movie kind of seemed like a... Almost like a, you know those 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 type of movies they used to give to you at school to make you learn about something. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like the education. But then he had no storyline. Yeah, this looked like an educational movie, mm. but with a storyline. You get what I'm saying? Like it had a protagonist and a, and a, like a little love uh, interest in it. Yeah, B story. If you take away the love, if you take away the love interest out of there. That's an educational movie. Because it's like vocabulary and terminology and stuff. Yeah. And it shows you how and why like viruses are transmitted. You know what I'm saying? The way they're transmitted through through saliva, through through touching, through even t- talking with people. So you know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. as as a matter of fact, how do you know that people are sick? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like in the movies, they portray the person that is sick, like uh, like he's really sick. They got to put makeup on him, and and like you make him like purple lips and stuff like that. But have you seen a real live person that's sick? He don't look like that. Well, it depends. Sometimes on, you don't. It, it, it just depends on it, right? Yeah, it depends on the virus too. Like for example, e- e- Ebola, you're gonna show symptoms. I think uh, I don't. I'm reading this book right now about viruses, but like. Yeah. Every virus affects you different. So, you know, they're spread different ways, different reasons. Like a lot of a lot of illnesses that are killing a lot of people in other parts of the world are based off of like just bad yeah. sanit- bad sanitation, a bad water pump, bad water supply. Um, you know, people dying of, of diarrhea, uh, malaria, you know, mosquitoes, like like you got West Nile, dengue, fever, um, you know, a lot of them, a lot of them are transfer. Or what is it? Zika. You know, a lot of those are are, Zika. are via mosquito, and that shit is scary too. But um, have you seen? Um, you said you have not seen Containment, right? No, I haven't seen Containment. That's yeah. like one of the ones I haven't seen. But I've seen like you know, I Am Legend. Yeah, uh, Will Smith's character in I Am Legend, I think he's an epidemiologist or a virologist yeah. in the movie. That's why he got the lab rats in the basement, and he's trying to test to find a cure. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm, re- I'm reading this book called A Deadliest Enemy, and it's a, it's a dude that used to work for the CDC. And he's basically, like, chapter by chapter, like, talking about 
you know, Wuhan and wet markets and talking about like uh, AIDS when AIDS first came about. And then he had a part where he was talking about um, toxic shock syndrome, TSS. Have you heard of that? Yeah, I've heard of that too. Yeah, so yeah. He, he talked about how they first started seeing like, you know, different women coming in with the same symptoms. And finally, they started asking the right questions like, wait a minute, uh, when was your period? You know, that's when they started right. seeing like, yo, it's these fuck, what kind of tampons do you use? Like, what brand is it? Is it the heavy duty one? You yeah. know, and then they start seeing like, oh, this, there's something in them tampons is making, you know, the ladies sick. But, um, wow. So like, even that, like, you got to, you got to, like, the brands and stuff? Well, well, like, yeah. well, basically that back in the day when they first discovered it, there was a brand called Rely. And I think it was made by uh, either like Procter and Gamble or Johnson and Johnson, one of those big companies. And um, yeah, people. The fucked up thing is like people didn't fully understand what the doctors were trying to tell them. So all they heard was, "Oh, so it's the Rely brand that's doing it. So we could just switch brands." They're like, "No, it's 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 them damn tampons and the heavy duty ones, especially, and it's certain certain uh, materials that they're using." That, see, basically, bro, look, not to get too scientific for everybody that's listening, but uh, that part of the female anatomy is supposed to be anaerobic. You're not supposed to have air in there. So basically what them, what them heavy-duty tampons were doing is somehow, some way, the chemical or the materials were, were causing, it was like binding to something and it was releasing air. And that created like a bacteria. And then that bacteria is what wreaked havoc on their body. It started getting fevers and it started kind of poisoning them. Yeah. So anyway, um, I've been I've been trying to educate myself by reading that book because, you know, when I go live on Facebook, people are scared. People are hearing wrong information. They hearing rumors. They hearing conspiracy theories. They thinking Bill uh-huh. Gates. They thinking Bill Gates made it. They're like Trump invented it. Uh, this person has the vaccine. This person has the copyright. It was this country that did it on purpose. This person made it in the lab. And it's like. Uh, I've been reading about it, and then I got to get on there and argue with them. Like, uh, do you know how much yeah, money? No, it's just it's just some people that 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 want to find an answer but don't want to do the research, and so they rely on the hearsay, the hearsay, he said, she said, stuff, stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like they 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 rely more on the rumor mill because they don't want they're too lazy to do the work and the research for it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's why. Like, I'm just trying to find some answers. You know what I'm saying? And like, you know what? I'm just going ahead and believe this. You know what I'm saying? I'm going ahead and believe what uh, Jimmy told me that you know Trump made this, and he's he, trying to uh, he's trying to kill us. Yeah, that's dude, it. dude. People, people be on my um, my comments when I when we me and Marisol go live. We do cafecito time, and um, yeah, people be on there like, man. Uh, Bill Gates, he wants population control, and he's just trying to kill everybody. And uh, Trump got the vaccine, but he don't want to give it to nobody. And the government, uh, this government made it, and they purposely trying to hurt the economy. And you know, and it's like, what? How is it? How is it that a country made something on purpose that they ain't got no cure for? So it's like, why would you leak something that's gonna fuck you up? <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. I was, I, was, I was saying uh, a lot of people give the government too much credit, man. Like they they're not thinking like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't think they. Uh, if you see some of these politicians, they're not scientists. They're not. Mm-mm. Bro, Trump ain't no scientist. I tell you that he ain't no. The only thing he could do is like uh, evict the lady from her house. That's it. That's the, that's the most toughest thing he's done. What? I don't think he's gonna go up there and just kill the whole world. He evicted who from the house? Uh, old ladies from the house. You ain't you ain't know that about about Trump? Oh, like his apartment? His apartments back in the day? Look, bro, I didn't do I didn't do my research, bro. I ain't do no research for it. I just heard somebody say say they he evicted the late old lady. But you know that's what like real estate companies and and stuff like that they do that all the time. They evict people, man. So. Yeah, I you know, know man. I don't it, know. it just come with the it just come with the territory. Hey, you know I, I'm a landlord, and um, yes, we've had to evict people. Yeah, 
several times. So, you, you got to go to court and all types of stupid shit. But, um, yeah. That on. But right now, thankfully, man, the people we got, uh, renting out some of these spots there um they still uh, apparently they getting income from somewhere they haven't really said nothing and we were gonna hit them up like hey uh y'all working are y'all good like is, should we expect you know you want to give us a heads up <laughs> but we left it alone yeah. we left it alone because we saw they pay so we're like all right just be quiet yeah um, just, just be quiet but like you should give them a little thing like hey if y'all do need some help go ahead and uh let us know the COVID-19. Yeah, you know that's what I'm saying. But yeah, man, that it's just it's just such a crazy time, man. Like one thing I'm learning from this is how you can try and plan. You can try and have like a set schedule. You can try to plan your year out. Um, but like I'll give you an example. I never thought in a million years that there would be an event of this magnitude that will cancel my entire way of living, my entire tour. Um, I, I always thought like, well, if there's a flood in one city, that's just one city. Or if there's a, a like a, sh- a shooting in one city, well, that's just one city. It's not all cities at once. I'm like, you know, and if we go to war, right. like, and if we go to war, what are the chances that it's going to be on our turf? Like, usually we're going to be, you know, sending troops to some other country and, and, you know what I'm saying? I'm just kind of like wrapping my, my brain around it. And it's like, no, bro, like the whole world is going to be on hold. <laughs> the whole world shut down, man. The whole world shut down so good. Like is on lockdown so bad that the earth started recuperating itself. Ain't that some all shit? the pollution. Yeah. Actually, you got to say, man, like we the motherfucking virus. Yeah, we the fuck, yeah, you know, we the parasite that's fucking living off the earth, goddamn. That's that's the way I see it, man. That's what we are. We're a virus. You know what I'm saying? That's an interesting way to look at it, huh? Like we're a parasite. Yeah. Interesting. A lot, somebody was telling me a little bit earlier, like somebody was like, uh, "Man, all the all all the uh, man, a lot of people been dying lately. Like if you see it, uh, like a couple of these these two or three years, man, a lot of old." people just been dying and i was like look man the only reason why a lot of people dying is because of the baby boomers the baby boomers is they're around like 60 to 70 to 80 years old uh-huh. right uh-huh. so it's just natural there's there was a more there's there's a lot of, uh, of baby boomers like you said that's when they started making a lot of babies back in those days so now they're already grown up and then they're passing away and there's like, man, there's too many people passing away. It's because there was a lot of population of the little baby boomers. That's it. it that's, a, that's an explanation for everything sometimes. Well, yeah, on the news, they're not going to give you the full breakdown. When they just throw out some of these numbers of deaths, they don't say, like, well, this person was 85 and, and anything would have took them out. Um, you know, or they might, or, or they don't tell you, like, well, this person had, like, three, four uh, underlying health conditions and, <laughs> You know, they just couldn't handle a fifth health condition all at once. Or this person had asthma or, or, or whatever it is. But, um, you know, that's just the news. But anyway, uh, enough about Corona. <laughs> um, man. Yeah, man, uh, we've been having all these little, like, technical uh, things we've been having to learn. Like, okay, how do I FaceTime my friend to get him on my, on my podcast? And... Um, you know, thank thank God for all this technology, yeah. man. We're still able to kind of like roll with the punches, Uh-oh. and you know. Yeah, we we still we live in a good time right now. If not, man, uh, if you would imagine this about 15, 20 years ago. No internet. It would no internet, no nothing. It would it would have been it would have been savage out here. Like no FaceTime, no FaceTime to where the doctors can communicate quicker. Uh, there, there's a, yeah. and not only that midnight, but there has been a ton of innovation in these in in the time of a crisis and emergency. People started getting yeah. creative, like they started finding all kinds of solutions for all types of shit. Yeah, and 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 it's all because of the internet, man. The yeah. YouTube, YouTube, man, you man, I, you can become a doctor off of YouTube. <laughs> now, I'm not saying that you can, but I'm just saying. 
You could. You, know, you could. you could find out some stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not saying you can, <laughs> but you could. Damn near. You could. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm telling you, but you can. But you know, you can't get no PhD from YouTube. But you know, you can. You know. But you could. <laughs> but you could. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, I don't recommend it. I mean, you know, they're not, Surgeon General ain't going to tell you that, but I mean, I'm just saying, if you wanted to. Yeah, I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? And, oh, you know, man, you know what's been happening too, man? A lot of people just been going to the store just for entertainment. Like, to the grocery store just for entertainment, bro. Because they're bored. Like you, don't, you, like, you don't need nothing. You don't really need nothing, but you're just going out there because you want to get out of the house. Or you, or, the only or, place you can go to is the grocery store. Hey, that sounds like us. Like, we have food. But it's like, yeah, but we kind of wanted to make empanadas. So can you go get the little empanada wraps? And uh, and why you there? See. <laughs> and why you there? We run. We running low on uh, you know queso fresco, and you might want to get you know apples for the baby, and you know. And why you there? Go get the password to your mobile banking app. You know what I'm saying? Because you need to reset it. Because you haven't reset it before the corona. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, man. Or you could just call customer service instead of going to the bank, people. Hey, touching all... I swear to God, people putting themselves in danger to just for the password. Yeah, like touching all on your, your, your plastic thing, your plexiglass protector. Yeah. Come on, man. Leaning on it like it's Chipotle. Yeah, leaning on it like it's a sneeze guard or something. Like You know what I'm saying? Like you're going to see through... Like you gonna just automatically see all your withdrawals. Like you, like you, like you uh, choosing vegetables at Subway. Like yeah, let me get that one right there. That one right there. Yeah. Can I can I get the spinach? Can I get the spinach right there? Yeah, yeah put that. Not that spinach. The other spinach. I like my the spinach. Other spinach right I like. Me. I like my spinach cold. <laughs> I like it right next right next to the ice thing. The the ice barrier has. Yo, anyway. so. So with your new jokes, um, is this stuff that's just been happening that you're like, oh my god, I need to write that down, or what, what's your process? Most of the stuff is like with me and my girl argue, <laughs> and and she, and she's a really good arguer, uh-huh. like like she border she borderline a lawyer, bro. She borderline a lawyer, and me. I just feel like I'm that, uh, you know, that that one dude, that uh, that hood dude, that be in the courtroom, and 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 he just dressed up just because they told him to dress up. Yeah, that's me when I argue. <laughs> I, I I just can't I just can't argue, bro. I don't look. First of all, you gotta remember shit when you when you argue. I don't remember nothing, bro. I I don't remember. Sometimes I gotta look down to see what I got because I don't remember what I'm. You know what I'm saying? It's just stuff like that. They remember everything. She everything. Put, My girl remembers everything, bro. She keeps notes. Everything. Cliff notes, everything. She knew what I was wearing that day, what I smelled like, what if it was raining outside, everything. Exhibit I, A. I, I don't know. Hell yeah. It's like, I don't know. Hey, you remember that day? Yeah, you, yeah your head was hurting that day. And then I was like, ah, oh, come on, man. I don't know about that. Hey, uh, before she... Before she goes in on you, she's like, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she says. I, I would say, like, I'll be trying to, I'll be trying to go in there and be like, man, you know what? I plead the fifth. But I can't. You know what I'm saying? One, two, three, four, fifth. One, two, three, four, fifth. It's just a lot of argument. And then after that, like, after I calm down. And and I already get my sentence. Then that's when I go up there and start writing. But when I write, I win the argument. Mm-hmm. Man, you know uh, I, I ain't gonna lie, Marisol and I, we've been. We, it's been a, a a day or two here and there. Like we'll have like three, four, five good days in a row. Where like, you know, I'm on point. Like ain't no miscommunication. Didn't nothing happened to stress me out to where I raise my voice. You know what I'm saying? Like. Yeah. Like any like um yeah I, like I I get panicked man like when it could be a mosquito biting the baby or something and I'm just like hey we, we, you know get the spray da, da, da. okay who am I spraying first you know yeah. her of course you know and then it's like well, why are you get, <laughs> why are you yelling you know well, I'm getting bit too and just hurry up you know like why are you rushing me you know 
and it'll <laughs> and boom, that'll just explode somehow. And <laughs> I was uh, th- that story. I was uh, putting water in the baby pool, right? Because she, the baby was getting ready to get in the little pool yeah. in the backyard. And I'm like, hey, put the stuff on her and, you know, run inside and get it, da, da, da. And I don't know if she was taking too long. I, I didn't, dude, I, lo- I just lost it. And I was just like, something told me, spray your wife on the arm with, with the water. <laughs> just, <laughs> just hit her with it. Just, you know, because I was mad. Just hit her with a little. <laughs> and she was just like, hey, man, what the hell? And I'm just like, oh, shit. And I just like instinctively just turn like this like she's about to throw the uh yeah. the uh como se llama? the mosquito cream at me and yeah. and i was like fuck now i gotta get out of this one there, there goes the whole evening i'm gonna have to just start off the morning good good morning baby i'm sorry oh. yeah man I, it's, oh man i've been through all that man it's like bro but i win an argument bro i can never win i'm like I'm in zero and one thousand three hundred seventy-three. You hey, know what I'm saying right now? Hey, she's like she's like um, the federal government. When people catch Fed cases, it's like you do not win against yeah. the United States government. It's like you're not gonna win against uh, your girl. Hell hey, no, nah, man. It's like me versus the the state of the, the the union of the republic of my girl. Hey, God damn. Yeah, he does like Mayweather. Boy, boy. <laughs> She uh she fifty one and zero baby. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Oh man, every time she come with an argument, she put them gloves on, bro. <laughs> yeah, it, that that's just the whole thing, man. This quarantine make you uh realize uh, how much uh, y'all tolerate each other. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. What, man, when do you, when do you think that they're gonna open up? comedy clubs in uh, Dallas and all that like when do you think we're going to be able to get back to work what month man right now I'm saying like at least September or August bro at least September or August because I don't think they're going to do anything where there's a lot of people in there you know what I'm saying so that's it's like what we're going to be going into May, June, July I say about four more months, man. Yeah, um, this is this is gonna be a, it's gonna go for the long haul, man. Twenty twenty canceled. Ain't that a bitch? Um, Damn. Yeah, I'm gonna have to think. I'm gonna have to think of some type of like virtual show. The fans are always like, "Yo, why don't you just do a comedy show right here on Facebook?" And yo, you should just do a comedy show live on the gram. It's like, bro, I'm not about that to shit just. Ain't easy, man. I'm not about to just read my jokes and look for little thumbs up here and there. Um, it's like I can't feel you laugh, and I can't see you laugh unless everybody go live on Zoom. With me on Zoom. You you know what yeah. I was you know what I was thinking midnight. Um, it would obviously have to be like a guinea pig type of thing, but like let's just pretend we let twenty exclusive VIP hardcore fans into a Zoom room, and maybe we kind of like mute some of their microphones. You know, because when it's too many mics, have you have you done that? It's too many mics. It starts sounding like someone's dog, Echoey. someone's cat. Yeah, someone left their speaker up. Someone has a baby, and it says, like, <laughs> "So, yeah. um, what if like it was like me, yourself, and like maybe one other comic, and we just kind of keep the sets short, and uh, you know, obviously, you know, it, even if it's like, all right, I'm just gonna tell an entertaining story, and just work it out." And just kind of let them, you know, laugh virtually, I guess. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, but it's hard to do stand-up without feeling those laughs. You don't know when you don't, your, your comedic timing is going to be off. Or or, or that, that confidence of that first laugh when you go in there, it's just it's like, ah, man, I don't feel it. And you just, you're going to feel like you're, you're going to abandon your set, but you got to muscle through it. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Like me, I'll panic. I'll panic and I'll be like, you know what? Uh, I'm not going to do it. Uh, <laughs> plus, know? plus, like, the way you deliver the joke has to be different because the environment is different. Like, me sitting right here in the laundry room or whatever, in the hallway, in the back, uh, sitting on a stool, I'm going to talk a certain way, and, you know, versus, like, in a club and you trying to you trying to hypnotize them, you're trying to get them in a trance and... You, your delivery is different and you kind of like making eye contact with this person and 
you have your you whole know, demeanor different. Exactly. Damn. Your whole demeanor is different. So, like, I, bro, I'm scared. If I like, they they invited me to do some uh, shows in Spanish, uh, and one of them, uh, one of the shows. Well, uh, recently my uncle passed away, so oh, I man. couldn't do a show. So, uh, not a corona, just like just regular. But uh, like, and uh, and I didn't I didn't make that show. But the other show, it's like, oh, man, you know what? I'm a, I'm gonna try to I'm a, I'm gonna back out, bro, because I really don't have time, and 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 I'm really scared. Like I really don't know what I'm gonna do, and I don't want to look bad. So it was a know? it was a Spanish show that was gonna be like virtual. Yeah, it was a Spanish comedy show, man. They've been doing all those uh, across like uh, Instagram and stuff like that. Even uh. uh at least Sadiq did one, man, and they were they were pretty funny, man. But it just the the comedy club element is just was missing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I was I was joking with Marisol. I was like, look, what if what if we implement some changes when they do open it back up? Like, obviously, if there's a limit on how many people you can have in a room, then we're just gonna have to like let's just say sell half the, you know, you cutting your tickets in half, pretend. Um, what if they say, hey, you got to space out your table. So now you got an empty table in between tables. It's like, all right, well, fuck it. That's better than nothing. That's not ideal, yeah. but that's better than nothing. And I was I was asking my girl, I was like, yo, how much some little like fever forehead uh, testers cost uh, to have one at each entrance of, the, you know, just as people coming in, sk- sk- hey, you got a fever. You can't come up in here um, and then have like little hand sanitizers on the table is like a Chingo Bling logo or the tour logo and just have it there so everybody can yeah. use and then do away with VIP. So that's it. Ain't no selfies, hugging, handshakes, high fives, you know, at least yeah. for the time being, I don't know. I think that, I think that would be a good idea, but it's just all these like ordinances and stuff. I don't think it's going to make it put it in a place where anybody could be uh, gathered up like that. You know what I'm saying? So it's going to be a while until they're going to let people just gather up like that, I guess. I don't know. You know. Well, está cabrón. Um, but yeah. in, in in the meantime, uh, let everybody know, man, the website for the online merch they can order, um, where they can listen oh, to man, your, your podcast name, everything. Yeah, lifttacos.com. Uh, you can go up there right now. It's called Lift. Tacos.com. Oh, That's it, the clothing line. It's not iLiftTacos.com? No, they, they, I had to take the eye out because somebody uh, bought it when I was like uh, trying to figure everything out. Uh, so they bought it from under me. So now I got to go to with LiftTacos.com. Mm, so it. it's LiftTacos.com. It's on my Instagram, which is uh, LiftTacosOfficial. On Instagram, you can go up there and click the link and you can go ahead and Buy your buy the merch. Uh, also, man, uh, uh, what else? Uh, my podcast is uh, Midnight Snacks Podcast. Uh, M I D N I T C T E uh, Snacks with an X instead of the whole thing, and that's on Spotify. You can, it's also on my uh, bio when you go to Instagram. I also got a TikTok. I'm new to TikTok, so let's go up there and do some dance moves. Do do it. You know what I'm saying? Holla at your boy. I'm trying to make some. Well, yeah, walk, walk me through the duets and stuff because I, I'll have my daughter help me. Uh, I got to make sure I go follow you on TikTok. Yeah. Uh, what is, uh, what's your TikTok name again? Uh, Jesus Midnight Castillo. Badass. Uh, and uh, and uh, your, your daughter uh, uh, commented on one of my uh, uh, videos talking about why you had to eat all my cheeses. She's still bringing up that damn and cheese. I was like, I like uh, like man, come on, man. That was like a hundred years ago. Like man, I can't never win no argument. <laughs> hey man, um, I appreciate your time. Yeah, man. I appreciate your time. Thank you for uh, checking in. Uh, I know you got a whole bunch of shit to do yeah. today. But uh, but yeah, man. Good seeing you. Good hearing from you. And God willing, man, we'll be able to go up there and do that Arlington Improv with you. Um and all the yeah. other shows we had scheduled with you, you know, Waco and Man, I can't wait to see y'all, man. I miss y'all, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know? Dude, we, we had San Angelo, Abilene, Waco, you know, Midland, 
we just, you know, Victoria. We just had so many dates. Um, but we're going to figure something out, man. Um, keep keep cooking it up. For sure. Keep, keep Take care of them house plants. Uh, try to win you an argument. And uh, I'll check in with you later, man. Thank you. All right, bro. Appreciate All right, bro. it. All right, peace.